Okay, so today I wanted to show off a little bit of my inventory system. I've been working on it for about uh, a little under a week now. I, um, I have pretty much all the logic um, programmed for all the drag and drop. Uh, so I can drag and drop items from the inventory to the action bar, from the action bar to the inventory, um, from inventory slot to inventory slot, and you know, action bar slot to action bar slot. And um, it doesn't matter if they have an item in there or not. Um, it's going to swap the item. If there's no item in, in the, the slot that they're going to, it's going to just it's going to nullify the old slot and it's going to set that item to the new slot. Um, uh, these here, these are some pickup items that I made. Um, this each one has like a uh, an associated image with it, and um, right now that's just so that I can distinguish them all while they're in the inventory when I move them around and stuff. Um, and they're going to be you know, actual items eventually. But um, each one's kind of a little different um, up to a certain point, and then I have a few over there that just are like the same. Um, this first one, though, actually has sustenance. Um, it's able to add sustenance to my player character uh, if I use it. Um, however, right now, the way that I have it set up, um, I haven't finished that uh, part of the programming, and so um, the uh, the only time that I can actually get it to work right now with with like with that is if the item is in the first slot of the inventory and it hasn't been moved around. So I'm going to try to keep it keep it there and not uh, move it so that I can actually show you how that works uh, before I go ahead and mess around with any of the other inventory items. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game, grab some of these pickups, and uh, walk outside. And I'll uh, show you around. Let's go full screen. Um, so as you can see in here, my, my health bar, stamina bar, oxygen bar, and sustenance bars are there. The um, they're, They do their things, you know, the oxygen will start dropping if we go outside. Uh, stamina is used by jump and uh, run, and it will gain back on its own. Oxygen gains uh, is basically replenished when you come back inside this building, this, this um, like facility. And the sustenance is always draining um, at a constant rate. And you can replace it with items, you know, once I get the programming all set up, you'll be able to replace it with items. Um, for example, like with this, this apple here that's not really an apple. Um, and as you can see up in the corner, it's going to tell me when I pick up an item, it's going to tell me if the slot is, you know, how many slots are full and how many are, how many are empty. So I can pick up um, 10 slots. I can pick up 10 items. These two, it's not going to let me pick up. It's going to say my bag is full. And that's because, you know, the bag is obviously full. So when I go and look at the inventory, the bag is full. So now, if I go and actually take an item out and put it in the in the action bar slot, it would it would let me pick up the other items. And I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to make sure that that apple works. So let's take a walk outside, and I'll show you around the world here just a little bit. And um, and then I'm going to use the apple, and then I can go back inside and pick up some of the, some of those maybe those other two items and, uh, and and use them. So here's what I have so far in the world. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. I've done a little bit of work, and I I modeled, you know, these buildings here, and um, I haven't really had time to go back to that because I'm trying to get a lot of the programming done to get the game going. Um, I have I have the sun, you know, uh, in the sky there, and it actually does do the day and night cycle and everything. As we sit here, the sun's going to start falling and, and uh, going down in the sky there. Um, so. Now that the sustenance bar is actually down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use that apple just to kind of show you that that works. Um, but again, it only works right now if um, if I, it's in the first inventory slot the way that it is right now. So I'm going to I'm going to use it, but uh, I still have to finish all the rest of the program so I can move it around and, and be able to use it. So um, you know, as you can see, it brings up. A menu when I click on my items. Uh, each one would do that. If it's an empty slot, it'll the item menu here will just disappear. And and so um, basically, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the use button right now. And then you're gonna see it's gonna use it. It's gonna put it should put sustenance on my bar, you know on my bar, bring it back up to full, and then the item menu will actually disappear uh, because there's no item in this slot anymore. So boom, as you can see, it's it's there. It did it, and it said at the top, uh, apple was eaten which is just something that I, I can have to say whatever I want. Um, but uh, that's just for my purpose to see that it was you know, happening. Uh, but there was definitely um, you know, immediate uh, visual 
uh, re responses by seeing it tomorrow or whatever. Um, so anyways, now I can take these inventory items and I wanted to show the drag, drag and drop system here. Um, you can take these, you can switch them with items that are in the inventory and you can put them anywhere you want. So you can put them in there, I can take these to any slot that I want. All this works. Put this here, put this here, put these here. Say, oh well I want that one to go back over there. You know, all that works. Um, I can take them down to the action bar, put them in here, put each one down wherever I want them and say, okay. You know, I want all these to be specific. I want these all to be down here. And then I can go back. Let's just, let's just go back to the uh, building here. So this guy's like, when I jump, I don't have it programmed where when I jump, he stops making the sound effects for the footsteps. Um, because the footsteps are currently programmed into, like, basically blueprint. And um, the real way I'm going to do it is in, with the, uh, the actual animation. When, when the animation runs, there's going to be a sound that plays at a certain point during the animation. That's that's the actual more real way to do it. I just kind of did this to, to make it quick so I could get some sound effects. So now that I have the other two items, you can see when they went, they came into the inventory. I can pick up that new those new items here. This one's actually got a flashlight image, um, and I can do the same thing with them. And now, if I want these to be you know changed, I can put them over here put it anywhere I want. Any of these will switch and it will swap. And when it does this, it's swapping <clears throat> the item and the image of the item. So there's two separate things. They basically have to be programmed um, separately. And uh, But they're kind of doing the exact same thing. It's just that there has to be two separate things. I mean, the image is a separate thing from the actual item. Um, and so, um, you know, it's just a little bit more complicated than just simply moving something. But um, but you can pull them back up to the uh, to the inventory, and you can take and replace them by swapping them from the action bar to there. So I can take any of these, pull them, pull them up, and just like that. Um, and now I also have it set up to where I can drag and, and um, drop items out into the world. But uh, what actually happens right now is when I drag it into the world, the item will be removed from the game and it will never return so um, these items like this will just get dropped out here and they'll be they won't be in front of me they're actually gone they're just they're they're completely removed from the game and so um, one of the next things I have to work on also is getting finishing the programming for that as well I have to get the um, you know get it so that I can take this and actually have this drop the item out into the world so I can pick it up again and as well as you know, pushing this drop button and having it in it, having it actually drop it out there. So you'd have two different ways to do it. I'm, I think right now I can push the drop button and it will, um, it'll actually drop the item, but it's going to drop the first slot because this 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 um, item menu here for some reason is only associating with the first slot um, at the moment, and that's just because I haven't finished programming it. So if I drop that oh it won't even work right now that's right because I moved items around so it won't work until I really re you know go in and actually finish all that programming uh, but it, you know as far as as far as what I do have um, it's really all I wanted to show off and I was hoping that uh, those who follow my work um, are going to be kind of like excited to see some of this um, my inventory and uh, UI like design is kind of in in development too. I mean, I, I like the real uh, clear menu and, and the clear, um, the real transparent, um, like little uh, background um, design. But it's it's going to be completely probably redesigned. I'm, I'm more than likely going to change up the look of these of these action bars to have some kind of neat um, border or something, and, and possibly spread them apart a little bit more. Um, and this, I don't know, I, I kind of like the way that the actual uh, HUD bars work and look. The, the elements that I have going on, but the, the font might change because I don't know if I like the font. I downloaded this font and I really, I think it's cool, but it's a little bit too, it's almost a little bit too gaudy. So I don't know, I'm going to you know play around with uh, some um, design uh, or some different fonts, I mean, and um, really explore the... Uh, uh, different possibilities that I have with, uh, with different fonts. But one of the things that I really like about 
the, the transparency is that when you do have the inventory up, you can still see in front of you. Uh, you can still see through things. And it's my alarm, and for some reason it's not working. My alarm to take my dog out. Um, but you can, uh, you know, you can still see what's going on. And you don't have to feel like it's blocking your view from what, you know, maybe something that's in the way, like an enemy that might be coming up on. You can still see everything, and I want the player to be able to see that. So I'm probably going to make the inventory more full screen um, when it's finished. But again, I'm going to keep that, that transparency so that it does feel like you're in an, some kind of like menu system. Maybe you're even in a HUD menu on your helmet or something. But it's almost like a hologram menu. That way you can really get the feeling that you're, you're actually, you know, you're able to, uh, to, to do your business but not be completely uh, disconnected from the world that you're in. Um, and so, yeah, it will be... Hopefully it'll be. Hopefully it'll end up being really nice. And, and, uh, look forward to actually showing showing you guys some of the ideas on how to make it work. Um, so as you can see, it's actually becoming nighttime now, and um, I think this is the first video where I've really went into to showing, letting it become nighttime. Uh, the the pink sky is going to be changed a little bit. I, I was modifying some stuff. And, um, I just haven't really uh, just had time to go back and really work on the world. It's, it's a lot of work to, to do, and, and um, working on this by myself is just, um, I just have to take it one step at a time, and I pick something that, that I want to work on, and I just do it, and then, and, you know, it, it, I work on that until I get it done, and I want to keep switching back and forth. It's a lot easier to just work on something until it's done. Um, and as you can see, the moonlight is beginning to come on. Uh, you can actually see the moonlight effects on this, and you can see my shadow now is casting in the other direction because the moonlight is coming from over there. Um, and that moon, I don't know if I already said this, but that moon is not obviously the moon for uh, Mars. That was just a model that I made, and I uh, projected the moon, uh, the surface of, our, of Earth's moon onto it to, um, to just use as a placeholder um, to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like feel like having, um, you know, the real moon uh, in the sky there, and, and that can be pushed into the distance or pulled forward, however I feel like actually using it, um, but I really want it to kind of resemble the way that Mars really looks, so, um, and, and I don't think that the real moon on Mars, uh, Phobos, I don't think it's really that visible, it's not as visible as, as Earth's moon, considering the density of the atmosphere of Mars and stuff, um, but at nighttime, it's it's hard to say. Uh, so, in the atmosphere or the uh, yeah, the atmospheric effects uh, are going to be altered, altered like altered a little bit and changed and uh, played around with. So, uh, it is a work in progress. So just keep that in mind. Um, but uh, these are obviously not textured. These buildings, I still have a, have a lot of uh, work to do on texturing them all. Um, but I do have some things I was going to show off in here. I've got my um, uh, map I made of Mars, the Mars surface, and I put all the locations on there. And those are actually the real locations. I, I went to a real Mars map, and I found them all, and I put them onto an image that I liked that was a little bit more crystal clear. And I actually uh, went on, you know, I photoshopped everything, set it all up, and made it really nice. And then uh, I'm going to actually take this, um, this uh, monitor's... Um, stand here, and I'm going to remove that and build a mount on the back that will actually allow me to put it on the walls and make it look more like it's supposed to be built on the, you know, like actually hanging off the wall. And I have two TVs back here that are kind of doing the same thing. Um, they are um, are going to be probably doing the same thing, so I'll, I'll be I'll be using them um, to uh, to to you know kind of give the feeling that you've got these different. Uh, electronic devices running around in, in, the, um, in the building. And now my footsteps have basically bugged out, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And I was trying to get through the video with, you know, like completely bug free, but I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, so, anyway, these are these are models that I that I got from uh, an online source, and I'm just using them for kind of like, you know, testing purposes to see what things look like and stuff. So. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, 
I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to show off. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time.